Come here, Zip Zip. All right, is this Ziva here? Yes. Hi, Ziva. How's she doing? She's doing good. She's here for testing about her kidneys. Her kidneys? Okay. I hate sending them in there without me. Watching him shake and go in by himself is not cool. New social distancing guidelines around COVID-19 means things are changing for pets as well as their owners and vets. We need a blood pressure to start. Okay. Yeah. You can check that. Okay. <laughs> How has the way you run your hospital changed? Our clients do not go inside, except for an, a rare exception. They park in the parking lot. Our technician goes out, um, interacts with them, brings the pet inside. He gets nervous. And then we call the client and talk to them over the phone. So there's no face-to-face -face interaction anymore. Maybe I'll see both of them in a month rather than in a week. Maybe we can actually right, come in the door then. We also are trying to limit the non-urgent we want it to be more of an emergency. These social distancing protocols are designed to limit human contact. Dr. Calcine is less worried about catching COVID-19 from his patients than their owners. Realistically, I think pets aren't the best medium to transfer the virus. Their fur is coarse, so the, the, the droplets don't stay on there, so it's not the best, but it's possible. A new study in the journal Science found that cats and ferrets can contract COVID-19, with cats being most susceptible to becoming ill and transmitting the virus to other cats. So would you advise people to avoid letting their pets lick them and also to avoid petting them? I think that's the safest thing to do. We don't know all of the facts yet, and I think that the spread from an animal is likelihood is low, but anytime there's a possibility, you need to take the, the proper precautions. There have been a small number of animals testing positive for the virus, including a tiger at the Bronx Zoo. But tests for animals, especially the kind that live in your home, aren't widely available. In the US, the animal tests are being conducted by a private lab for research purposes, not diagnostic ones. We've tested thousands and thousands and thousands of animals and they've all been pretty much negative. So. To me, that this, it suggests that the infection is a low likelihood, but it's still not zero. What's behind your decision to wear gloves right now, but not a mask? Uh, that's a, it's actually a difficult question. You know, if we're social distancing, the, the chance of us getting infected is pretty low. Plus we're not seeing people directly, so the chance goes way down. We don't want to use up all of our supplies for ourselves. And we also don't want to use up supplies that may go to humans. Human hospitals need them way more than, than we need them. And um, I wouldn't want to affect that because I'm definitely concerned about where we're going.